What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. I hope you all been well. Now I'll definitely explain why I haven't been posting as much later throughout this episode. But getting right into it, if you haven't already seen, they are showing, showcasing a full power Jiren event. It is the mid-month carnival exchange. Now I don't think right now is the best time for me to spend my dragon stones. But I'll definitely hop into why I think that. Now going into the runes, as you know, I'm just still farming up as much runes as we can. Trying to equip them with the six skill set. Any extra runes I have been putting on my second tier lineup. Right here you see that Kid Buu with some runes. Right now I'm just trying to get these Yielding Will runes on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Just experimenting a little bit more. We do have the four set equipped to him, which is pretty nice. Just making sure each of my starter characters at least have a minimum of a four set rune set. Uh, that way they get the damage reduction and damage rate increase buff. That's what I've been doing there. Now it has been a grind, we still have to get this Super Saiyan 4 Goku to 5 star. Now uh, make sure to definitely like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Definitely helps out the channel guys. We just hit actually 630 subscribers which I'm really proud about. Thank you all again for the support. Now you see they have these scouters for the mid-month carnival exchange. You can exchange for the full power Jiren, even Super Saiyan Blue Goku. They also have a new Janumba skin which is pretty nice. As you know the skins uh, buff character stats. So I believe it's like 5 to 10%, which is really handy, especially if you're running an evil team. Um, like I would have done if we had more evil characters, and if we started that way, I would have 100% went the evil route way. Uh, Janumba would have been my primary catalyst for that. So if you're using Janumba, feel free to grab the skin, can't go wrong with that. Here is the gear is looking like on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I do need to rank up uh, his gear a little bit, his defense is kind of squishy right now. But in time, you know, he is our most recent added character to the lineup. So he is going to be making strides once he comes along and once we upgrade his Divine Domain. But uh, yeah, in terms of why I haven't really been posting as much, as you guys know, I was in transition of a job. So now my hours are a little bit longer and the schedule honestly is a little bit different. Uh, I do work more like the afternoon to night shift. So it's either I'm evil, you know, I have a little bit of time in the morning or I have a little bit of time at night. So this is where I'm trying to find a balance right now. Um, it is like door to door sales or at least a sales type environment kind of job. So uh, it's like 50% sales, 50% customer service. So it's definitely something out of my uh, comfort zone, but I'm definitely willing to learn it, to learn some new skills and uh, really get out of my old job and uh, seek more opportunity. But hopping into this fight right now, we're going against Rene de Tesco. We, I was actually surprised we had more priority, so we were attacking first. Now, um, that actually helped us out because that activated a lot of the runes for our Gatezumasu, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and also Jiren. So we do have that damage reduction helping us out, reduce the amount of damage uh, these characters already take, just because they already normally are some tanky characters. Now this is definitely going to help us out. The rune set that we have on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku actually activates during even rounds. So that's why you see his rune set activating there. But this is going to be uh, great for him as he normally doesn't come into the battle anyways with his um, with his ultimate move. So by having it start in the second round and getting hit a little bit, it did boost his anger points and then use that key burst and then go into his ultimate. That definitely helped us out right there. Uh, we're getting a decent amount of crits, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, that Super Saiyan Blue Goku is actually still pretty good for us. As you guys know, he's still one of the top 10 SSS characters in the game. So if you have him, feel free to use him. Uh, but yeah, lineup wise, I'm actually pretty satisfied how it's growing right now, especially as free to play. We do have Bardock as the assist, which is really key in keeping that front row alive, giving us more defense. Uh, I am liking the hit assist. Uh, that is what I think I might redeem more of my scouters on. The hit assist that way you know when hit does come into the battle because we already have him decently leveled up he will be a pretty decent assist character coming into the fight even though i believe he is sss so it's not bad of a character to have um at that uh apt level so that's why he's definitely worth the investment for me and why i have been going so hard with that assist so we did get the win there it wasn't too bad we're always trading places you know um which is good for the competition in the game very quickly going into the fishing I uh, have a whole bunch of things that we can actually redeem on uh, for the move essence and also those shards to get the Bardock assist and also Goku assist. So you'll see this is mainly what I do. If I do do the farming, I do get those uh, purple shards necessary to redeem for Bardock. And uh, that way we can upgrade Bardock's assist as much as we can. 
and uh, it's a pretty good method. Now, I haven't redeemed for the Xeno Goku because I haven't been really using him. I have seen maybe one or two players really using the Xeno Goku. Um, but yeah, I maybe just haven't come up with a strategy to use him. I just don't see right now how he would fit in my lineup. Maybe in the second tier lineup, as you know, we do rock him in that lineup. But I don't know how um, he could be better used, if that makes sense. Now just going into here, now we have a whole bunch of those red shards. I don't really feel like redeeming them for the Reaper Anne, just because we're not going to be using her as an assist character, at least as far as I can tell. Maybe once we upgrade this, um, this building, we'll be able to unlock more character shards of better characters. That way it would make more sense for us if we're going to be using a character anyway. Now going into the moves, we can see how much of each shards we have of the Goku, and also of the Bardock and Hit. So Hits is coming along, Vegeta's is also slowly coming along, I have just been grinding it slowly and um, haven't really had any too, uh, had too many issues really, pretty satisfied. So we did rank this up on the Bardock, so that is going to grant us 10 healing, 10% uh, healing for the round. So not only are we getting defense, we're also now going to get healing. So mind you, the Jirin already heals when an enemy dies and also the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta heals HP. By himself and also an added bonus when you do have the super saiyan 4 goku in the lineup so that's always a good bonus you know they're healing themselves bardock and the assist is going to heal themselves now we did get omega shenron so like i was saying this is a great character to throw in for the evil lineup he also is one of the links for super saiyan 4 vegeta and goku so that was definitely a bonus for us we're getting some uh, stats right there as you can see just activated there and then also if we go into the Goku, he gets another link right there. So that just boosted our CP a whole bunch. Um, you know, 25% HP attack, you know, for those characters, which is really nice. And it's going to help us out, um, prolong, you know, get us stronger. So um, again, I would run him alongside that Janumba if you do have that. Put put Super Shin Shenron in that front row. He's going to be boosting your allies' attack and defense. Overall, uh, great support character for an evil lineup. Um, and he does um, heal himself like the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So for an evil team, that is pretty much his equivalent in my mind. So I would definitely run him. Now let's see what else we can do. I do want to upgrade this Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku. We did get enough shards finally. Just skipped ahead like a day or two. Now, now the reason I have been saving them all up is because we want to get that damage increase percentage up. So now he is 5 star, he finally gets that skill that I've been waiting for this whole time. Now it makes sense to have him in that 6th slot with all those red moves. If you're going in like campaign and stuff that runs that multiplier. But if you're in the arena, obviously that multiplier doesn't play any factor. You could have um, your main hitters in uh, just back row, honestly. Um, but yeah, definitely having that skill is definitely a bonus. Now we're actually going to do the Divine Domain. Just going to skip a little bit just so it's not as boring. But uh, we activate the key burst right there and take it out. Not too hard at all. Usually that first stage is very simple. Um, so yeah, that's really good. And we're just going to have to upgrade this a little bit because you can see the ability is actually really good once you max out the second Divine Domain right there. So I do want to get this up as quick as possible. Now we do need to awaken his gear to at least level 10. We already have the moves at the right requirement. So let's go check out his uh, gear real quick. Now I believe we'll have it around 8 or 9. I'm not mistaken, but I believe we have some shards left over. Um, also some universal shards that we can just throw in there and use that for the divine domain. But uh, going into the gear, I do have some awakening shards that we could use. Now that is level 10. So that is two of the three qualifications needed to get the next divine domain. Now once we upgrade his Kai's Blessing to level 4, that's going to help us out and upgrade his divine domain more and get him more abilities. So I'm really excited where this is going to be leading to. That's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. And as always, I'm out. Later.